people ask, can black men run faster than white men? I would say growing up that um, I was aware then of the myth. But I never really ever lined up in a race and looked at an athlete for being black and thought, oh God, genetically he's better than me, I'm not going to win this. It has definitely occurred to me that men's running events have been dominated by people of African descent. Because of the way my dad celebrates every single time Athletic comes on. Because he knows that he's saying Bolt's going to win. You know, he knows that Enma Cook is going to win. He definitely knows that Gabby Salas is going to terrorise everyone else. There's no doubt at all that having, generally speaking, higher testosterone levels, generally speaking, longer limbs, generally speaking, leaner, all those factors play a big part in making someone actually run faster. There are hundreds of genes that affect our physical shape and our speed. But there's one that's attracted a lot of interest called actin in 3. Now that's a protein that helps control the fast twitch muscle. And that gene is different in a large proportion of European and Asian people. Between a quarter and a half of them carry a spelling change, which means the gene doesn't work. It's very rare to find that spelling difference in West African people, and it's almost never seen in elite sprinters. First of all, it comes down to food. A lot of people in Africa eat very tough food. You know, you've got things called pounded yam, stuff like fufu. Just by saying it gives you six pack. When the Kenyans started to dominate distance running, a lot of people turned around and said, well, look, blacks must be better at long distances, much better than whites. But there's a serious logical fallacy here. It's not blacks who are better at distance running, it was Kenyans. It wasn't Kenyans, it was Western Kenyans. There is as much diversity within the race black as there is within the entire human race. Christophe Lemaitre, right this minute, is, is proving that white athletes can run under 10 seconds. As a black athlete who won an Olympic gold and silver medal, I never ran under 10 seconds. I'm the fastest ever 400 metre runner. White. Roger Black was second behind me. Then you had Mark Richardson, the black athlete. Then you've got Jamie Ball, who's mixed race. So you've got, it's quite mixed, to be honest with you. I think genetics and, and, and your, your makeup and so forth, I think you've got to try and ignore that. And I look at him and I think of his weaknesses. I think, I bet he didn't train Christmas Day. I did. I think the problem is, if we think there is a genetic explanation driving the differences in sport, we will also look for a genetic explanation driving the different patterns of success in the economic sphere. The fact is that all white men are quite close relatives and all descended from a few black men that left Africa about 100,000 years ago. It is entirely possible that in the same way that we've seen dominance shifting over time with distance running, it was Australasians and then Brits were doing terribly well, then Kenyans, then North Africans, we could see similar shifts in dominance in the sprints as well. We have done in other sports. It's just an assumption that it is limited to people with black skin.